Hello you beautiful thieves, my name is John, welcome to my channel. This is again our super secret location at St Thomas Bay in Malta. As you can see I have another DRC car. They sent it to me for free to test it out, so thank you so much to them. Um, this one comes in at €128.99. I'll do the conversions left or right. Um, it's again the attention to detail that I'm impressed with on these cars as you may have seen on my last video two batteries um, the this car comes with two shells always like that and uh, the pins I've got the little tabs on very nice in the accessory bag that you have with it you have the brush that I didn't know in the last video that it came with. I thought a nice little attention to detail on this one was the fact that it came with two chargers as well. As you can see, so you've got two batteries, two chargers. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Maybe that was an accident, but if it wasn't, then that's a really nice touch. You have the usual screwdriver, the wheel nut remover, and the accessory pack, the various bits and bobs there and your little fossil brush. Hello, very good. <laughs> okay, the 9200E from DRC is a one-tenth scale four-wheel drive front and rear diffs, 540 brush motor. It's got a joint ESC and receiver. I don't know the uh, amperage of the ESC. Approximate speed is 48 kph. Oil field shocks, question mark. I will explain later. Two times 1,700 milliamp hour batteries, charge time two hours, driving times 20 minutes each, which is pretty good. Proportional throttle and steering, two kilogram torque servo, apparently. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz, two channel transmitter, transmission distance 100 meters. The size is 36 centimeters long, 30 centimeters wide, and 14 centimeters or 15 centimeters high. Well, ladies and gents, we've got the tarmac here. Let's see what speed it can get. Its sister car, or I don't know, little brother, was uh, 23 kilometers an hour, which wasn't great. This states it can go 48 kilometers an hour. So let's see how close we can get to that. We have it set for track. And just show the last one, that was the 23. So start. And as you can see, Oh, it's set to maximum speed. Let's go.
Okay, let's see, shall we? 30, so better than 23, but not as good as 48. It's not good at all, is it, when they're stating one thing and we can't even get anywhere near that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is just a really quick video because I'm a little bit confused about something. It says that it's oil-filled shocks, however, You see this, I mean like there's no resistance there. They see the way it bounces, something chronic. So I wanted to open one of these up quickly to see if it has oil in it. So get on. Of course I picked the one that seems to be welded on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I don't like being lied to. That is not oil-filled shocks. That, ladies and gentlemen, is grease-filled shocks, which is not the same as oil-filled shocks. I'm disappointed. This is not oil, this is grease. Come on, must do better. I want to be clear that a little bit later on in this video, you're gonna hear me say friction shocks because that's the way it's handling and that's the way it will handle because it's obviously got grease in it. I'm. Why, why, DRC, are you saying oil-filled shocks and just tricking us? Your attention to detail on so many things is so impressive, but this, this, this is unacceptable. Well, ladies and gents, what do you think about that? I have to say, I'm not so impressed. You're talking about 128.99 euros and it goes 30 kilometers an hour. Now you're talking no oil filled shocks, no metal chassis. There's so many cars at this price point that are unfortunately much better. I expected more from DRC because as I said at the start of both of the videos that they are actually their attention to detail is pretty good without a shadow of a doubt i want to be more positive with them because they're doing a lot of things right but you can't at this price point 130 euros what's that 142 us dollars or something around that that's a lot of money for a car that goes 30 30 kilometers an hour it's such a shame it really is Oh, anyway, if you want to see what its little brother managed to do, check out the video here, and I will catch you next time. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye.